and welcome back to crazy pony so in today's video i will be showing you guys how i clean my tack as i thought that this would be a fun video to film and i was cleaning my tack today anyway so i thought that i would show you all how i do it and see if it helps anybody so luckily for me rosie's had her bridle for a very long time so all the sort of like holes in the bridle have indented in the leather so i can sort of see where they all go but I just thought it would be a good video to show you all how I do it and see if it helps any of you. So I'm going to go and grab her bridle now and some tack cleaner. So here I am now with some of our tack cleaners and this is only a few of our tack cleaners that I'm going to be using now. But the first one I have here is the NAF Quick Clean. This is great if you're just quickly cleaning your tack or getting off any grease, which is why I'm going to be using this today. And then also I have here the NAF cleansing condition so it's also really important to make sure that you're keeping your tack nice and clean because you don't want it to be uncomfortable on your horse's face so that's why i clean mine so often so cleansing condition here is to keep the tack nice and healthy this next naff product which i love as well because it makes it nice and shiny and it sort of puts a nice finish to it unless obviously you're neats for oiling your bridle which is also really nice to put a nice finish to it so here i now have my neats for oil as well so i will be using this on the bridle as well because as i said it keeps it nice and healthy and gives it a nice finish so as you would have seen all of our products that we use for our tack cleaning are naff because they are absolutely amazing and also here i have my sponge and my brush to put the neat spoil on so now let's go grab her bridle and get cleaning so now here is her bridle and the first thing we have to do is we have to take it all apart and also i am here on our worktop so it'll be a nice area to do this so as you can see here there's this little worktop thing here that we i will be cleaning the tack on my tack cleaner over there and we just have like a sink here doesn't have water coming in but water drains out but i won't be needing the sink today but then we have a draining board over here which is where i'm going to be putting all the tack once it is cleaned and then over here is just our little like bench and that's where the bridle is now so here we are with the bridle so the first thing i'm going to do is detach my reins so as you can see here the little buckle that the reins are attached to the bit don't know if you can see me so now i've got this one undone just take it off from the bit and moving on to the next rein so just unattaching this one now and there we go so now we have our reins detached from the bridle i'm just going to put these to one side over here clean so here is the bit i've just detached that as well it didn't get it on camera because my phone ran out of storage but we're going to put this in a bucket of soapy water in a minute just because it's important to make sure a horse has a nice clean bit otherwise we don't want them having a dirty bit in their mouth so next thing we're doing is unattaching the cheek pieces so we're just going to literally take them off next one there we go second cheek pieces off putting that to the side now we are left with the headpiece, the brow band and the nose band. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take off the nose band. That. Let's pull it out and then all of it comes apart. Next we're just going to feed through the brow band off the headpiece. So then we have headpiece, brow band. There we go. And nose band. So now that is all of our bridle taken apart, we're going to clean it, which I will do a time lapse of. It's not like a proper tutorial of how to take it apart, it's more just how I do it and if it can help anybody else. I am just waiting for our kettle to boil that we have on a little gas stove down here because I'm going to put the bit in some warm soapy water, like I said. So while I'm waiting for that to boil, I'm just going to start cleaning the tack. So I will show you a tiny bit and then I'll be doing a time lapse. Now here is some cold water to add in with that because I think I boiled it a bit much. So I'm going to mix it up a little bit. And then here is my bit. I'm just going to pop that in there and let that soak. So now here is all of my tack 
cheek pieces, brow band, rain, headpiece, nose band. I've put quick clean on all of them. So I have just cleansed and conditioned all of the pieces of tack. So now I am going to remove this. I don't know what it's called. I'm not even going to try and pronounce it because it'll probably just come out wrong. But it's what I'm using next. Now that all of the tack is clean, I am going to lay it out to dry and then we will have to put it all back together. But I will just quickly show you all of the tack as it is now. So here we have the cheek pieces, all nice and clean. My hands are probably very dirty because that's what happens. Cheek pieces, brow band, Then here we have her nose band, which is nice and clean now, and her headpiece. And then the reins are here. So now I have just washed off Rosie's bit and cleaned it all, and her reins and her neck strap are all clean as well. So now that I have cleaned all of the tack and oiled it all, it is waiting to dry now and then we will be putting it all back together. So now that my tack has dried, I am about to put it all back together. So I feel like the hardest bit is, it also all depends on what bridle you have. So for the hardest bit I seem to find is getting the braille band on the headpiece. Because on this end, you can't get it through because there's a buckle. I'm going to have the throat lash here so it will go up. Uh, but first we need to get our braille band on. So I'm turning my braille band upside down. So you'll be able to work that out with whatever brow band you have. And here, as we have these two straps, I'm going to feed my braille band in through, so it's upside down remembering, so it's obviously gonna be difficult, but it's upside down, feed it over, and it's on. And then you feed the second part through the other half of your headpiece, like so. So here you can see we have the brow band on the headpiece. So now I have our nose band. As you can see, we have here, we have a long piece. So up inside, like this. Keep feeding it through. That's what I'm doing the way. And then back down the inside of the headpiece through the brow band, like this, like so, like that. And then what we need to do is we need to grab the nose band piece and do it back up to itself. So as you can see, we have our bridle. This piece is the other piece that is on the same bit of leather as the nose band and we're going to do it back up. So as I said, I know where it goes because I have the indents in the bridle, but obviously you might not. So you need to remember before you undo your bridle to write down which holes they go in. So I've just done all of that up now. As you can see, we have our nose band and our headpiece and our brow band all together. So the next thing I'm going to do is attach the cheek pieces. So with the cheek piece, you want to have this piece facing out of the bridle not so not inwards out and i'm going to attach that now so you can work out which side it goes on from that so i'm just attaching them now so these are what our bit will attach to as well this is a really hard video to film because it's hard to show through the camera but also as i said before this isn't a proper tutorial this is just how i do it and how i remember where it all has to go so it might help that's one on one on here now i'm going to do the other side so i'm going to turn the bridle over and just attach it to the other side the same as i just did the other one and like that so now here is our bridle, we have brow band, nose band, headpiece, 
cheek pieces. Next thing I'm going to do is attach the bit. So how I know to attach the bit. So if I give you it a bit closer, you can see that they have, you can see that it has like little dips here and here, both on each side. So when it's in your horse's mouth, it's like curved inwards. Whereas if I was to turn it up that way, you can see it sort of curving outwards, if that makes any sense. And that's wrong. So you need to flip it, attach it to your bridle like this. So that would be going in your horse's mouth like that. So I'm going to attach that to the bridle now. And also every bit is different. So, so this bit here, which Rosie's got, is called a French Lynx Snaffle. And it is one of the most mildest and comfortable bits that you can get because Rosie is not a strong horse at all. So I'm going to put that on her bridle now. And as I've said, I am not a professional. So again, if you're just here because you want to watch the video, then thank you for watching because it does really mean a lot to us. So this isn't a tutorial video. It's just me cleaning my tack and giving my advice while I go. Every bit's different, so just if you've got the same bit as Rosie and that's what you want it to look like. So I have just attached my reins off of camera and now that is all together. So I'll have my whole bridle together and I also have my neck strap here. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you found this video at all helpful please let me know in the comments and I hope you enjoyed watching me clean my bridle. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And also I'd like to say a massive thank you to everyone for over 6,000 subscribers. It really means a lot to us and I genuinely can't believe how many subscribers there are now. And I never dreamed that we would ever have this many. So thank you so much. Thank you for watching.